Hello and welcome to your weekly insights through the cards. My name is Mika Leon Pettit. This is for the week of July 3rd through July 9th. Moon mansions are in Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. This week starts off with the full moon in Capricorn, bringing with it the yearnings for status and influence in our external world. This energy makes us crave the recognition we feel we deserve in our professional sphere. It's not the best time to seek pats on the backs or uplifting words from those we work with, but this is a great time to tune into what you truly want from your work in the world and the feeling it resonates within you, not what you get from others. By the midweek, the feeling to be free from the boundaries set on you by the material world will be very apparent. It's a good time to get together with friends who can help you tap into what you are truly feeling and allow you to um, the space to express it by the end of the week you may be struggling between the need to stay home and be alone with your feelings and tap into your intuition to feeling like you have to take charge and make a move on what you want use the guidance you came from the piscean moon to guide in any action you take now Make sure to spend time alone so you are getting your own inner wisdom and not picking up on other people's energies. Moon Mansion energies are like internal drives and conscious awareness should be brought to them to utilize these energies effectively. The Oracle, Isis, Mothering. It's a good time to check in with yourself about feeling nurtured through your own efforts or through the energy of others. First, it's about nurturing you give to yourself, and that expands out into the world in your environment through your children, if you have any, fur babies, projects, or creative endeavors that bring meaning to your life. Then look at the people you let into your inner circle and the feelings of mothering you give to them or they give to you. Even if you did not get the nurturing or mothering you required when you were a child, you can shift this energy at any moment and do things for yourself and for others that magnifies the qualities of being loved and taken care of. Everyone needs these energies at some time in their lives, no matter what the age. Astral jam number one is Rubius in the eighth house. The pressure may be on mentally to make major changes right now, but the environment may not seem supportive to what seems to be coming up as deep work that needs to be done. You could be feeling drawn into something that may be feeling like healing crisis or evolution that is coming whether you're ready for it or not. There is magic, passion, and power in this if you can use your energy wisely during this time of renewal and change. Bloodstone directs your spiritual energies while heightening intuition and increasing creativity. It has an energy that makes you feel safe, grounded, and protected. Astral gem number two, Caput Draconis in the first house. There is new beginnings in the house of self, personality, identity, and beginnings. Especially after the midweek, there may be new startups, associations, opportunities, and ideas that could bring good fortune into your life. Faded situations and people could appear at the right time to help you with a new project or career. This is also a good time to start a new physical activity for the body. Stay open um, for guidance and wisdom from your higher self on moves to make and places to be. Clear clots will make communication with higher self clear while enhancing mental clarity. It makes your desires clear while amplifying your psychic abilities. Crystal card, Rhodonite. Balances the heart chakra and helps to ground your energy. It is a stone that encourages forgiveness, reconciliation, and it favors the resolution of conflicts. Helps with states of codependency and helps to clear wounds from the past. This is what flowed through. I hope it helps you plan your week for the best possible outcomes.